Hi there. I'm back with another quick flix video for you. This week I thought I'd show you how I do the out of the box technique, which is what I used on a little gift basket that I put on the Ideas Inspire blog under my blog. Oh, I think it was about a month ago. Um, really quick, simple, and easy to do. Basically, what you need to do is decide on which image you're going to stamp. I'm using the same little acorn bunny again, little acorn I think it's called from Lily of the Valley. Ink it up, stamp it out, and then I am using a roundness stability. So you need to pop that down over the stamped image and decide more or less what part you want jutting out and what part you want to leave in. Tape it down with some tape in place. This is just so I can mark it and the tape holds it in place so it doesn't move. Um, I find it easier to just draw quickly around the outside of the nesty as well. It's, you're not going to see it when you cut it anyway. And then you need to mark the inside from the image about a half an inch away just very lightly with your pencil on each side of the part that is going to be jutting out. You then remove the nesty off the paper and you need to cut I'm just going to cut this away a bit so it makes it easier to show you you need to cut into the image around the part that you want to overlap the to like hang over the edge of the circle in this case it's a circle so cut up and along and you can see I've cut up to that the inside pencil line that I drew there um, and you need to cut past it a little bit and the same with the side here so I'm going to cut up and around and just a little bit past it and the reason that I'm cutting past it is so that when I pop the nesty back down the part that I want to overhang is actually going to be over the top of the nesty so that when you run it through your die cutting machine it won't cut that part off because it's it's hanging over stick that back down and go and run it through your die cutting machine and when it's die cut it'll come out looking something like that. Um, if you want to emboss the ridge I find it easier to just take an embossing tool if I can find one in here, yes there you go and I just run the embossing tool around the edge of the, the um, edge of the nesty where it would normally emboss it, I'll just take this in a little bit right up to in this case the leaf just run that around all the way and when you pop it out you've still got an embossed circle but the embossing hasn't actually gone into the leaf although it's cut when you map this onto your scallop circle or onto your um, backing card once it's glued down it actually it won't show that you've actually cut it out and if I can get this to zoom out yes that's it you can see again so we've gone from that with that little bit that we've cut up and you can see the marking how I've marked it again to having an image with the leaf out of the box or out of the frame. Bye.